So let's check out the last array together, shall we? First of all, let it be known that I actually am kind of surprised. Going back to the Destiny OST, there's a lot less mechanical music, there's a lot less EDM, there's a lot less of this sort of computerized sound quality. This is very much an orchestral performance. Do you feel how the rhythmic intensity there is pulsating us forward? There's an inherent pushing, especially in the cello, the bum bum bada bum, everything short, 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 that creates this feeling of tension in us, much like battle themes tend to do in general, but there's a heightened sense of oh what's funny is that as i stopped i think it's like a xylophone or something people 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 and i wonder if that doesn't have to do with watching the hive enter onto the screen right almost a curiosity and, and surprise that we're seeing these ships enter into this last array it's really interesting how we layer these things to create feelings of of stress and of urgency and the urgency is certainly apparent in this So isn't that cool too? So we have the horns come in. So the first section is in regards to us, in regards to our light, in regards to the traveler. Then we hear the horns again, but now there's stacked horns in harmony. Instead of having that traveler theme, we have tension. That's out of the chord structure. So there's actually a sharp there, which causes it almost, it sounds augmented. An augmented triad is considered a major chord whose top note is raised. It causes that tension in us because ba da ya, that's what it should be, but it says ba ya vai ba ba da. You hear how there's a, there's a difference there. And just a little tiny note, we suddenly feel, oh, Oh, it's not the Traveler theme. It's actually tension because uh, the Hive are invading us and we are trying to keep our ghosts protected. So there's this inherent sense of urgency there that's uh, really highlighted by such a simple musical gesture. <laughs> How can I not talk about that? That's probably one of the most famous musical phrases in Destiny. Uh, also, if you consider the Traveler's theme or, you know, the loading theme while we're in orbit, but there's something distinctly about the last array. There's something about that cascading melodic pattern that is so 
deeply moving. And and what is it about that that's so moving? I think there's a desperation in there, but it certainly sounds confident, right? And I think what helps is that you have the strings going that's the horn. Right, so that is very strong rhythmic movement. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. We have these sort of quarter notes or notes that are not particularly short. And, and there's a real like plotting quality to that where we're really uh, stable. Ba, da, 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 da. Bum, 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 ba, da, da, da. And that's the strings going bum, 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 ba, da, da, da. And uh, it, it does give us this feeling of confidence in adversity, but also like you know, the real feeling of uh, of being with your back against the wall and being pinned against the wall. And you're like, no, 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 I won't. I won't release. I won't let this get in the way. I have to protect my ghost. I have to protect this mission. I have to complete this mission. And so there's this real feeling almost of duty and forward momentum, even though it's very like, ba, da, 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 da. It's such a satisfying, tiny musical gesture that's gorgeous. <laughs> funny instead of going ba -ba, this one went ba -ba. <laughs> more tension but in the inverse almost like oh god these stakes are really really dire this is a really bad situation this is not good it's so interesting how one little tiny shift can cause a different emotional reaction to us as a listener <laughs> So re-listening to that, actually, I think what makes that so powerful is that we have uh, the horn. You know what? Let's just play it back really quick. It's such an awesome thing. But you hear how the horn underneath, bum bum, bum bum ba da 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 da, bum bum ba da. Yeah. So there's a combo thing where we've got a melody over top with the French horn, and then underneath it sounds like a trombone. That's really like digging into uh, this feeling of determination and focus um, with, with an edge of fear and concern. It's really cool. <laughs> And look to it, the strings definitely going to cause tension in us as a listener. That's very little movement note wise, which it's almost like that Jaws theme kind of. But there is that essence of like, oh, under the surface, there is this the bubbling almost, it feels like. You know what I mean?
That's interesting. I've never heard this before. I feel like I end this fight within three, four minutes. Ooh, you're odd. Ba -do -do, ba -da -da, ba -do -do, of desperation, of, oh my God, they're, they're everywhere. They're surrounding me. Just with simple little musical gestures, we can create such a sensation of disquiet and concern that it still has this feeling of a heroic battle. It's very destiny. I mean, we hear this in other video games a ton, but there's something very last array from Destiny about this that I can't really quite put my finger on that is absolutely so satisfying. They're just on us at all times. There's a knight in the distance, there's a wizard coming around the corner, and we're just sort of like, ah, 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 no, no, grenade. You know, you're fighting for your life. We swell into that note that's slightly out of that note structure. And what that does is it creates even more tension. That's called a crescendo. What it does is it allows the music to really wash over us and cause us this feeling of, of, of discomfort. Ooh, and as we expand out, there's this, it's like almost like an outcry. And what it does is it, it raises the emotional tension. <laughs> Wow, and it ends pretty abruptly. So what's amazing about that, again, it's so good to listen to this again. It's been years since I heard this. The Last Array is just such a fantastic track, and it's such a fantastic mission that I think for a lot of us that have been playing Destiny, got about, mm, yeah, looks like 500, almost 600 hours. This is a track that really solidified, like, oh wow, the Destiny's amazing. Like, this is something really unique and really fresh and really cool. Uh, granted, tons of other games have been doing sort of this propulsive rhythmic idea, but there is something so distinctly destiny about brass and about horns and about drums and about percussion that I think that even now, having finished The Witch Queen, there is always, uh, that has always stayed. As always, if you like this sort of stuff, there's a lot of other Destiny content on the channel. I hope you'll like, I hope you'll subscribe, I hope you'll share it. And uh, thanks a ton and I'll talk to you later. Bye.